The importance of diet in our health cannot be underestimated. If you are motivated to want to try and improve your overall health and possibly reduce your risk of prostate cancer, what can you do? The government has recently issued its 2010 dietary guidelines, which contains some of the following items. For example, people should reduce their intake of saturated fats and increase their intake of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, grains, and beans. That's a better place to get most of your calories from. You should eat two portions of fresh fish per week as a way of helping reduce your risk of heart disease. Intake of cholesterol should be limited to about 300 milligrams per day and salt also should be limited to about 1500 milligrams per day. The government also advises that you adjust your calorie intake for your ideal body weight and also be aware that exercise is an important thing to incorporate as a way to help your overall general health. Now, what about specific things that might be good or bad about getting prostate cancer? Epidemiological studies have suggested that red meat and fried foods are going to increase your risk and certain foods like broccoli, green tea, soy, lycopene containing foods such as cooked tomatoes may reduce your risk. The evidence is not firm, meaning that the studies that they're based on are not ideal studies. Nevertheless, if you are motivated to try to incorporate things into your diet that might help, then it's worth adjusting your diet, increasing the intake of the things that are good for you here, and limiting your fat and your red meat and fried food intake. Those are general things to consider. The role of supplements, well, there's no indication that supplements are helpful here. If you want to get your ingredients, the best way to do it is from the real foods rather than extracts from those foods. So incorporating these guidelines can be helpful to your overall health. And remember, most of the people who are, are diagnosed with prostate cancer don't actually die from it. They die from heart disease. So it makes little sense to worry about prostate cancer without also worrying about your overall health. And these guidelines and suggestions can be of value to you.